What's up guys, it's Mike and in this video, I'm gonna show you my actual back workout. Man, it's gonna be badass. Me and my friend John Barbin is gonna go ahead and hit some back. Man, we're gonna do some pull-ups, we're gonna do some bent over rolls, some heavy ass one-arm dumbbell rolls with some 120s. Hopefully, <laughs> I got some 120s in, in my gym. Also, then we're gonna finish off with T-bars and my favorite, deadlifts. All out, baby, it's gonna be badass. All right, so before we start the workout, I wanna share with you a new book that I've been reading, or I've been listening to, called Spark, The Revolutionary New Science of Exercise and the Brain. Check this out. So, I have it, got it off of audible.com. And for you guys that don't know what audible.com is, it's basically a website that has audiobooks. Man, whatever type of books you're looking for, from exercise books to fictional novels, non-fictional stuff, how-to, you can learn anything. It has tons and tons of titles. The last one I read was Ready, Fire, Aim. And this one, I'm super excited because this one's all about working out. So in a nutshell, so I'm only on chapter two. Okay, so I, I can only explain what I've learned so far. But I don't want to spoil it for you, but in a nutshell though, what it talks about in this book is how exercise relates to the brain and how basically it affects everything in the brain. Exercise can make you smarter, right? No wonder I'm so damn smart. No, <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. It makes you smarter, elevates your mood, gets rid of stress, it gets rid of depression. And the reason why is because exercise is exercise is not just for physical looks. And exercise releases a lot of hormones or it regulates a lot of hormones in your body and a lot of hormones in your brain. And pretty much everything, your brain is a control center of your body. So the way you feel, the way you do things from your memory, exercise improves your memory. See, I learned all that through this book. It has some very interesting stuff. And the great thing about it is I don't have to sit there and read the entire book. You know, all I have to do is just plug it up to my phone. So this is what I was gonna show you, check this out. So I'm only on chapter two. Now this book is about five hours long. My last one was about three hours long. Five hours long, take me maybe two, three days, right? Listen to about an hour and a half a day and I knock it out then I can get all the information about this book. And don't worry, I will share it with you, everything I learned from this book in the videos on the channel, so you're not gonna miss out. But I would definitely recommend checking this out. You guys, if you don't have an Audible account yet, go to audible.com forward slash Mike. I made a clickable link for you right here under this video. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to the website where you can sign up, and guess what? Audible is gonna hook you up for free your first audiobook. Just as long as you click that link. And now you can go ahead and get whatever book you like. Now, if it was up to me, I would say get that book Spark. Because if you like exercising and you want to learn more about how working out can affect your brain and make you smarter, check out that book. If not, hey man, there's thousands of other titles on there and I'm pretty sure you're going to find something that you're going to like. So make sure to check it out. Click the link below and get that audiobook now. So now that we're done, it's time for business. You guys ready to go ahead and kiss some back? Grab some heavy ass weights, follow me, let's tear our backs up. My man John Barman's here with me and he is gonna hit some back with us. Let's get swole. All day long, baby, all day long. Let's go, let's go. Back to back, we go, I go. All right, I'm just gonna follow you now. So one of my arms fall off. Yeah. Woo. What is this, third set? Feeling good. All right, man, no fair, man, you get a height advantage. What's that? <laughs> I just got a height advantage. I'm just gonna touch down with my feet. Or... I gotta, yeah. I gotta get that, I gotta get that six inch jump. <laughs> don't, don't let anyone see, you gotta touch him down every time. <laughs> Is he touching down? Let's check. Nope. Oh, nope. Nope, shot's legit. <laughs> Pull-ups are awesome way to warm up. 
unless you have a hard time doing pull-ups. Yeah. Then they are a very tough <laughs> exercise to warm up with. That's it. Oh. I have to do a bit of a rolls off of a off of a bench press. It's the lazy man way to do it. <laughs> Works good because number one, I can lift it off from here, and I usually don't go much lower than where the bench is at. So check this out, guys. A lot of times you even cheat. Yeah. You're like. Ah! Somebody spray me down more. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Guys, heavy or crazy heavy? <laughs> yeah. 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 Who says that? Yeah, like lightweight. Ah. Ah. That's good. Ah. Ah. Oh, that was not like. Who would lie to me? That was not like. I think we should peer pressure John and going heavy. Yes. Is it heavy enough? <laughs> <laughs> The guy I bought this from promised me 145 pounds, but he lied, a bastard. This is 125. Oh, this is 125. Uh oh. We're moving on up. We got some more heavy lifting in store for you. Ah. 
You do a, um, you do a, a more range of motion on the last. I saw that eighth rep was like, Ugh, oh shit, damn. All right, let's do it. I guess I have to do that again, don't I? <laughs> Man. Man, I don't know if y'all guys can see this, this freaking knot right here. It's just massive right here. That's all this, all this right here. You guys see this? That's, that's all from these rolls. Yeah. Rolls get your back super thick, especially if you do them high like that. Monstrous for your upper back. We're doing lats, get the width. Our bent over rolls for thickness in your middle back, thickness in your lats. This one here, more for your upper back and still upper back and middle, more thickness. Yeah. And then we're gonna finish off with two more exercises. It's gonna be brutal. We're gonna be doing T-bar rolls and then deadlifts. It's a good one, dude. Good stuff. Hey. The other end, you stick the uh, plates on. All right. And that holds in place. Watch that. Get one of these. These bad boys. Good thing about this one, guys, but all you do is throw the plates on there, so now you create a badass exercise. Check this out. Warm it up here too. You gotta go all up. And see how Johnson's really low on it too. Works really good for his middle back right here. If you sit, the higher you sit on here, well, higher you stand on here, the more uh, traps back here it works. I found these gloves. I'm like this old box of mine. I had these gloves since I was 14 years old. Check this out. This is actually gloves you wear to like ride a bike. I had this when I was 14 years old. That's how you get a big back. You want it's not how much, how, how much weight you lift. It's how you look. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. 
He's got bigger titties than like most girls I know. I'm not training chest right here. <laughs> On there. We can't take it off, no. You guys ready for this? Let's see it. This is some heavy ass weight. Don't try that shit at home. Here's another, another thing, guys. If you don't have one of these contraptions, all right? If you don't have one of these, what you can do is you can literally just put this in a corner. You can put like boards against the wall, put it right there in the corner. You can put like a dumbbell on top of it and it won't go anywhere. That's just the beginning. Oh shit. That's yeah. it. I just can't take them off. You decide if you want to keep going. Strict. That's a real good set. Oh. There, nice. Good form, good form. Woo. There. All right, now the last final exercise, your favorite deadlifts. So check this out guys. I picked this up for about 180 bucks, 200 bucks. Pretty pricey for a piece of iron, but look how easy it is to get it off the ground. You just do this, one hand, and then now you can load plates on the side, take them off without having to strain your back before you're doing a set. On straps, guys, I use straps usually when I need it. Lately though, before I had a little injury in my forearms, I just use straps for more of the heavier lifts. But what I recommend on straps though, guys, is if you don't need them, don't use them. It's just like wearing a, it's like wearing a belt. If you don't need the belt, don't use it. You know, because it's only gonna handicap you. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Liquid encouragement. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh. We're gonna finish it off with some abs. Five minute round. What we're gonna do is three exercises, well actually two exercises. We're gonna do bicycles for 30 seconds and then we're gonna go into a side leg raise. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other and then repeat. We're gonna do five minutes total, just five minute abs. So like I said, I don't use, usually do abs for very long, but I do train them almost about every day, anywhere from about three to five minutes a day. Got my little timer, start off with bicycles. Ready, John? All right, and let's do it. Oh shit. 
That's just one of my back workouts that I do. Ooh, and it's an intense one. And uh, so don't forget, drink plenty of water, eat your post-workout meals so you can get jacked, feed your muscles after you tear them down. After this, I'm about to go eat me one of my zero willpower meals, scarf down some steak, and feed those muscles, man. Don't forget to check out audible.com forward slash Mike. Check out that new book I was telling you about, The Spark. It's gonna blow your mind, man. See y'all guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.